to my channel. I feel like I'm about to sneeze. It's gone. Sometimes that's worse, isn't it? I just want it to come out. Anyway, welcome back to my channel. It is half past nine in the morning and no secrets here because you guys have all seen the title of this video. So you know what I've got planned for today. I thought I'd just give you a little bit of background so you don't think that I'm completely insane. So me and Clint got engaged on my 30th birthday a couple of weeks ago. And <laughs> the day after we got engaged, I was on my own, on the sofa, and just kind of thought, basically, about 12, 18 months ago, I saw, came across, coincidentally the like wedding dress of my dreams on the internet i just you know when you've had a picture in your head of what you'd like because we all think about it don't we it was like seeing that in the flesh it was like it was just spot on everything about it so i just sort of i remember screenshotting the dress and obviously i wasn't engaged or anything at the time so i just got on with my life but the day after we got engaged i was home alone on the sofa late at night and it just popped into my head I was like oh yeah remember that dress and I sort of said to myself it won't be for sale like that was like a year ago it will not still be available so I just had a little look remembered where it was from had a little look and there she was still there still available so I was like oh okay that's good forgot about it and then I sort of thought <laughs> One of those cookies. Well, if we don't get married for another another 12, 18 months, who's to say it will still be available then? And then I was just like, I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna buy it. Like, what's the worst that could happen? I don't know. It just seemed, it seemed more crazy not to buy it. And then in a year, try and buy it and find that it's not available anymore than to buy it the day after I get engaged. I will, I will. So I, yeah, I weighed up the craziness and decided I was less crazy to actually buy it. I got some some little cookies, come on. So long story short, that's what's going on today. Uh, it arrived about a week ago, and me, I'm going to, I'm gonna go and try it on at my mum's house with my mum and um, three of my who would be bridesmaids. Two of my best friends and my sister-in-law and my mum will be there and they'll watch me try it on. And it does seem crazy, like, talking about it now, I'm like, oh my god. But, yeah, when I explain the full story, like I just did, hopefully I don't come across quite as mad. But anyway, we have got um, normal sort of life stuff to do first. First thing we need to do today is go to Aldi or Lidl, can't decide, need to do a food shop, basically. So, yeah, it's half nine. We're gonna go do a food Stop shop. No. He's driving me nuts. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go do a food shop first, then we're gonna come back, unpack everything, gonna head over to my parents' house, we're gonna go to the park, aren't we? And then at about two o'clock, um, we're gonna try on the dress. Also, quickly, before I go to the food shop, lots of people have been asking about my new glasses, because um, I've been having them on a lot on my Instagram and people have messaged me about them. They're from TIJN Eyewear, and they were kindly sent to me, but it is where I get all of my glasses, really, apart from, like, one pair. So, I will link the website for TIJN in the description box. Oh, yeah, I missed that one. And you guys can have a little peruse, and I'll also link these exact frames if these are the ones that you like. I just really like the size of them and the shape. Don't normally go for square, but I like them. Hi, everybody. So... It is a few hours later and lots happened. A lot has happened that I need to fill you in with basically. So we were all set to go to the food shop, I think, last time I spoke to you. And um, obviously try on my wedding dress. So since then, um, actually just literally when I put my camera down, when we were about to go to the shop, um, Clint phoned us, didn't he? Daddy phoned. Yeah. and said that he has badly, very badly <laughs> injured his arm, was in an ambulance. So that was, a, that was a bit of a shock, to be honest with you. 
at that point we didn't really know what was going on how bad the injury was what the ambulance were going to say so i just dropped all plans um put leo in the car put the dog in the car came to my parents house then i know the boys were there and i was going to just go up to the hospital as soon as possible uh, honest obviously later on realized once clint spoke to the paramedics that i can't go to the hospital because of covid then it just sort of turned into a waiting game and we have been just waiting around i've just taken leo to the park with some friends just to try and keep him happy because he's been a bit wobbly picking up on things it's fine other things in life are obviously far far more important it's far more important that i am ready and waiting to go and get him when i need to and that he's okay and the dress can just wait we'll do it in a few days next week whatever it doesn't matter yeah basically just filling you in i'm filming this on my phone because i left the house so quickly i didn't grab anything didn't grab my camera um, I was going to end the vlog to be honest because I thought there's no point carrying on the vlog about a wedding dress <laughs> when that's happened but I thought well actually let's just carry on and I'll let you know what's going on today because sometimes life just does this you have days like this don't you darling good boy yeah gonna make Leo some lunch and just make sure that he's happy and playing and busy and just keep staring at my phone waiting for it to ring basically <laughs> to Bath Hospital to go and collect our little wounded soldier. I did the right thing cancelling all my plans today and my wedding theme sort of day that I was going to have because it is 20 to 5 now. It will take me half an hour to get to the hospital. He might not even be ready when I get there because they might still be stitching him and things when I get there. And then he hasn't eaten all day, just in case he needed surgery. So he's gonna to wanna to go and eat straight after. So yeah, I definitely did the right thing, canceling um, the wedding dress try on today. I'd rather just, like my friend said, let's just do it another day <clears throat> when we can focus sort of solely on it and get excited about it and not be worrying about other stuff that's going on and I'm just happy that he is okay and that I'm on my way to get him and he doesn't need to go under the knife so that is all really good news. I am gonna turn up the tunes on Spotify and just be happy that everyone is healthy and safe and go and get my man and just be yeah be very thankful that he is well, I've picked up the wounded soldier and the first place we've gone is Burger King, which is essential when you've been nil by mouth all day, even though we didn't need to be nil by mouth because we didn't have any surgery. So we're gonna get a Burger King, we've already done that. Go and get Leo, or oh, 21 miles in the tank, I don't wanna fill up there. Gonna go get Leo now from my parents and go back home get Leo in bed and probably go to bed ourselves to be honest it's been a bit of a weird day yeah so I'll probably um just finish the vlog here because there's not much else to see because we're just going to go home and literally put Leo to bed but he is alive and well I did not try on my wedding dress but we haven't even got a wedding book so <laughs> no major panic there I will do it another day so that's fine don't forget that I have linked the website for TJIN 
glasses in the description box and I've also put a different link for this particular frame because I know people have been asking about this particular like square frame because it's a bit more unusual and I will see you guys in my next video.